And in Chile, the mayor of Regoleta, Daniel Jaure, appealed uh, the preventive imprisonment dictated against him after the being formalized for the crimes of bribery, disloyal administration, tax fraud, consulment of assets, and the swindling. In this sense, the mayor's uh, lawyer, Ramon, Ramon uh, Sepulveda, filed the rest the records uh, before uh, the Court of Appeal of Santiago. Through the document, the defender stated that the current uh, precautionary measure is unjustified and uh, this uh, proportionate since the duty fails to meet a requirement to be detained and requests that the Court of Appeals to avoid uh, detect uh, the, the preventing detention. This is how Daniel Hadwe arrived, calm and confident, to hear the precautionary measures surrounded by supporters who once again accompanied him. Because there were three long days in this formalization process through which he was charged with fraud, unfair administration, bribery and tax fraud. Most of the accusations will have occurred during the pandemic in his role as mayor of the commune of Recoleta, but also as director of the Chilean Association of Popular Pharmacies, Ashifar. Some suppliers will have initiated the complaints, but only now the case is breaking out. The press warned about it years ago, echoing the voices of the business community. This was the headline of Chile Vision in 2021. Two weeks ago, the president of the CPC called popular pharmacies a failure. And of course, what businessmen will like if people organize themselves to skip the middleman and cut costs? This is part of what the popular pharmacies did. The first one in 2015 was in the commune of Recoleta, and the idea came from Daniel Hadwe, its mayor. Dozens of municipalities quickly joined until the Ashifar Association was formed. Here, Daniel Hardway at his creation. This has been a very important step. I believe we are changing history. Thousands of people benefited for almost 10 years from his model. That is here to say, Ashifarb had more than 120 associated municipalities, and the gratitude for this fruitful idea can be seen in the support that Daniel Hardway received today. Before being remanded in custody, he said, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the support of all the people, because everything we did with this, with Archifar, even if bothers many, we tried to take care of people's health and the mistakes we may have made are far from being a crime. However, the third warranty court decided to give the highest precautionary measure to the mayor in one of his collaborators, total preventive imprisonment, considering that his freedom is a risk since he is in office as mayor and could alter the course of the investigation that will last 120 days. Oscar Daniel Hadue and Jose Matias Muñoz Becerra will be remained in custody and, consequently, they are ordered to be taken into custody. Handcuffed, Daniel Hadue was immediately taken behind bars. His lawyer announced that they will appeal the precautionary measure. We believe that this resolution is unjust and disproportionate concerning the crimes with which the mayor of Recoleta has been charged. The support of the community party and other conglomerates was not long in coming. The trial comes tomorrow. He's dismissed. He will have to endure a number of days of deprivation of liberty. That is like the tip of the end. The use of justice from a political point of view is known as lawfare. In this case, I have no doubt that it is evident that the precautionary measures have been decreed to take the mayor, Mayor Haude, into custody. The support of the Communist Party and other conglomerates was not long in coming. The defense has five days to appeal, although the investigation has just begun. The truth is that these days were more likely a trial than just a formalization. Paula Dragnik, Telesur, Chile.